today lecture I am going to differentiate e pi power x plus sin x divided by 1 plus log x. So let's see the answer. So here writing the given. The given is y e pi power x plus sin x divided by 1 plus log x. So this is the form of uv. So if uh, y equal to uh, form is like uv, so we should apply quotient rule. So here applying quotient rule. So what exactly quotient rule if y equal to u y v then dy by dx equal to so write v do the differentiation of u minus write u do the differentiation of v thereafter v as square so you should do that now the same thing I am going to do with this so here y that is dy by dx now write v so v is 1 plus log x and do the differentiation of uh, u part so u is d e p power x plus sin x divided by dx minus right to u part u part is e p power x sin x and uh, v part is d 1 plus log x divided by dx and thereafter 1 plus log x whole square now let's do the differentiation so I break uh, this one is the form of that so here you get now 1 plus log x and the differentiation of e pi power x that is e pi power x and the differentiation of sin x that is cos x now minus right here e pi power x plus sin x so here differentiation of 1 constant is 0 now log x is 1 by x thereafter 1 plus log x whole s square now thereafter So here 1 plus log x e p power x plus cos x now minus there after 0 plus 1 by x that become 1 by x so we can write e p power x sin x div into 1 by x divide by 1 plus log x whole square so 1 by x so here 1 plus log x and uh, e pi power x plus cos x so e pi power x plus sin x divide by so this is x here 1 plus log x whole s square now if you take the LCM so the LCM come x and x multiply with 1 plus log x here is a square this x that move up so x equal to 1 plus log x here e p power x plus cos x now let's multiply with minus here you can get e pi power x minus sin x 
So this is the final calculation here. So this is the way we can do the differentiation. This is the differentiation of this question. So here y equal to e p power x plus sin x divided by 1 plus log x you should if the form is like u v you should use the quotient rule now do the differentiation you get that do the calculation you get that so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you